If the map is correct, the treasure must be hidden nearby. Wards, you're on your own. The treasure must be around here somewhere. Thank you. Wasn't I always? requires a key. Doors blocked on the other side. Who knows what lurks in this thing? Let me guide us. There is nothing for you here. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McGraith. We are Banishers. We can help. You haunt him. I haunt him. You should not be here. May I ask your name? I'm Elizabeth. Banishers, you said? Yes. We deal in hauntings. Hauntings like yours. You should go. You shouldn't be here. What binds you? What's keeping you here? What binds you? What keeps you? Stay away from my sister. Stay away from Mary Claire. You have no business here. Thieves. Make a run for it! This comes. Deeply. I think so too. There's no malice here. Perhaps something around this cove will tell us about this Mary Claire.
Weird. She seems hostile, but also tries to guide us towards something. Already able to control wisps. Her ghost grows strong fast. Part of the story is waiting to be revealed. Imaradas and Tus. You could have stayed home to write. <laughs> How's your leg? Still crippled. Besides, I needed air, and I like it here. I know you like it here. <laughs> oh, uh, Elizabeth! <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? Yes. Wait. No. My necklace is gone. The oh, real lady must be Mary Claire. Mary Claire is hobbled. Her sister must have done the chores. All seem to enjoy the arrangement. They work well together. <laughs> Ghostly voices stay in this place. Not a word, not a yearning, and yet, the leaves of every tree whisper thy name away. You used to write me poems. If I remembered it, I'd not admit to it. Oh, come on. It was not that bad. Yes. Something's here. It's 
sense the ripple of a past conversation. She is the leaf brightening upon the breeze. How did it go? The light in your eyes. The warmth in my eyes. <laughs> you do remember. I feel an echo ringing, like a hum. The dainty sparkle of Helios' lamp shining through the space of each quivering branch. A fleeing island and an unwanted marriage. They risked much. It was a brave thing to do. It was so romantic. Go on, say it. The warmth in thy eyes, in the dark of the night. The sparkle in thy voice, in the depths of my heart. Ah, I was right. It was terrible. And I still like it. Echoing cores across the sea, there's a storm when you sleep. Our joined souls usher in the unspoken. Moira Tynan. Have we heard that name before? We have now. And we found our tie. There is nothing for you here. Who is Moira Tynan? No, 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 no. Please, leave it alone. Leave it be. There's another trail. This way. Let me show you the way. Love poems, fortified quick mist. She's a fiercely protective ghost. That gives her power. We should take care. You trespass here. Leave us be. I'm afraid we can't do that. If a sliver of kindness yet remains in your hearts, please leave. What happened? How did you die? We are all mortal. I knew it, but strangely I thought myself exempt. A bad cut. Badness in the blood. I rotted from within. And that was that. You care for your sister, and it is clear you've no wish to harm her. Do you? No, of course not. Leave us be. Leave Mary Claire alone. Leave us. She's strong and defensive. The sister, Mary Claire, should be nearby. Look for a house.
Just go! Since the ripple of a past conversation. I see the apron you wore to the river. From across the meadow, the blossoms and leaves. I see its wings rise like sails in the harbour. From across the meadow, or so I believe. Do you recognise the verse? No, but I see spectral stains enveloping the building and blocking the door. How did the poem go again? I see the apron you wore to the river, from across the meadow, the blossoms and leaves. I see its wings rise like sails in the harbour, from across the meadow, or so I believe. Maybe something around here refers to what's in the verses. I don't think the poem referred to this. I see all the milk you sifted this morning from across the meadow, the blossoms and leaves. I see all its freckles braid onto your clogs from across the meadow, or so I believe. I sense the fragment of a ghost's voice. I see the curds that you plucked from the way, from across the meadow, the blossoms and leaves. I see the colander resting in the hay, from across the meadow, or so I believe. The words of a ghost may resonate here. I see the cheese you stir for me and my sins from across the meadow, the blossoms and leaves. Oh, please do gift me this mouthful of mercy so the mournful morrow cleaves. The thread is gone. Did you feel that? It's close. By the hearth, the bed is made, the goose is cooked, the bread is baked. Something's nearby. Where is it? Letter says Elizabeth's sister Mary Claire got married in Ireland. But they're here in New Eden. Wait, of course. This isn't Mary Claire. Moira Tynan was betrothed to some fella. Moira fled with Elizabeth to avoid the marriage. 
Mary Claire isn't Elizabeth's sister. It's a pretense to allow them to be together. We know Mary Claire is not who she claims to be. We know you're not sisters. Enough. Leave her alone now. She doesn't deserve any trouble. Leave us be. They were in love. Their love binds them together yet. I hear it happens. Let's go we chat with them. A ghost in love is a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> I believe you. Oh there, Moira, Elizabeth. I wish to help you. Will you talk to me? Be off with you, Scotsman. <sighs> Moira, I only wish to talk. You shouldn't be here. Nor should you, Elizabeth. You... You're haunted. Antea Duarte, pleased to meet you. You've been here this whole time. We have more in common than you might think. You clearly mean the world to each other. How can we help? Stay away from her. This cannot last. You must know it. Why? Why would you say such a thing? What do you want? You have loved each other. A love so great not even death could tear it from you. But Elizabeth, you must realize that you are feeding on Moira's life to continue your own flicker of existence. And what of you? Does the same truth not hold? Are you not hurting him by staying? We find other ways for Antea to feed. Banishers, remember? Show me how. That's your choice and I want the same. It's not that simple. Us being banishers is the only reason why Antea can be fed. And it has its limits. What do you think, Elizabeth? Do you wish the haunting to endure? Am I really killing her? It will seem like you aren't at first, but she will wither slowly and then all at once. Her life is a gift. I don't wish to hurt her. I can't do it without her, not here, not anywhere. There's a haunting here. We're ready to bring it to a close. Elizabeth lingers in order to protect you, Moira. Her ghost is strong and only grows stronger. Soon she'll become untamable. Accede to her request. Ask for help. Should we do it, Liz? Should I ask for help? Yes, you're so strong. I see it and God sees it too. And your love for him will keep the yokels away. Moira. You were the fire in my heart. You tended me. I basked in your glow. My restful heart was your great gift to me. Don't go. This is our home and always will be. As long as you carry me in your heart. We won't let your woman face the world alone. We promise. Go in peace now, Elizabeth. There is nothing left for you here.
she is gone. Please. I need time. 